differently right now. My hair is in cornrows because I'm about to let you in on a controversial subject that not a lot of people know about. It's a show that I have wanted to do for a long time. In fact, ever since we started the Tyra show. But then I told my, my staff, and my staff is very diverse about this show, a portion of them, a lot of my producers that happen to be white, were like, Tyra, what are you talking about? This black hair woman thing, what? They didn't understand, and I had to explain to them that it's a topic that is so heated, it is so charged in the African American community and in a lot of other cultures that Chris Rock actually spent two years of his life making a movie about it, about after his four year old daughter, Lola, asked him, Daddy, how come I don't have good hair? Now, the movie just debuted at Sundance, and Chris Rock, he even asked me personally, he came to my offices personally and wanted me to use a clip from the Tyra show for it in his uh, documentary, or his movie is called Good Hair. Now, uh, when black women talk about good hair, you hear things like hair that's not kinky or coarse or nappy, um, hair like an afro that's not like an afro. You hear, you know, when they say good hair, a lot of them are saying hair that is smooth and straight like a white girl's or an Indian girl's, or sometimes a Puerto Rican girl's. And they spend thousands of dollars and countless hours using chemical relaxers and putting weaves in their hair to get it. And I just said they a lot. I should say we. This is Tahita, and she's thinking about going back to her natural hair. What's your natural hair like? Um, it's coarse. Coarse. Nothing straight about it. OK. Um, So's mine. <laughs> My natural hair is coarse. And, um. It's just something that I've been contemplating on, but haven't really went full force with it because I'm thinking that I'm not going to get a lot of compliments that I used to get. Um, I'm not going to look as pretty as I mm -hmm. usually would if I had the, the weave or the extensions. Mm -hmm. um, How much money have you spent on um, keeping your hair straight? Wow, over $20,000. Twenty thousand dollars. Over twenty thousand dollars. Wow. I probably spent even more than that. Yeah. I know the number sounds crazy, but when you add it up, it's it you know, do you guys know that black women spend more money on hair products than any other culture in America? Yes. We make up like six, seven percent of the of the society in America, black women, but we spend eighty percent of the hundred percent of hair product. That's how much we spend. Eighty percent of all hair product goes to black women. Okay, so you're contemplating this natural thing. Why, why? Why do you want to go natural? Because over the years, I've damaged my hair really, mm -hmm. really bad to the point I can't even wear it, wear it out unless I have it relaxed or, you know, something like that. I heard that you have issues with bills because you spend so much money yes. on your hair. Yes. I have went to the extreme of not paying a bill or two to get my hair done. Hair. Well, to help to, to Hita make her decision, we put together a panel of women who have varying opinions on natural hair. Um, so I have to ask you guys, do you believe that there is a such thing as good hair? Absolutely. Absolutely. I have the best hair in Atlanta. I have the white girl flow, and my hair does this. You have the what? The white girl flow. The white girl flow? Yes. Okay, explain to me what the white girl <laughs> flow is. Everybody's like, oh my god, did you just say that? <laughs> yeah, I could do this. And like a lot of black girls just can't do that with their hair, and they honestly just can't because they don't have good quality hair, and I do. Okay. <laughs> and and, and Kel, uh, Akia, what do you have to say about the white girl flow? I think I've that, never heard that before, actually. <laughs> I wouldn't put it like that per se, but um, we do stay in a Eurocentric lifestyle. Um, we've been in America. Even though we came here unwillingly, we're here now, and we've adapted to this way, and we're accustomed. And I think that it's more professional. It looks better when you look at it. Um, the appearance isn't coarse or kinky or matted. The term nappy hair is always a term of contempt, so no one was ever saying you got nappy hair by saying you got good hair. So I technically do think that nappy hair would be considered a bad gray okay, hair. Okay, but you guys are talking about, like, there's a difference, and I think it's very, very, very important, especially for our audience at home, the women that are not black, to understand the different types of hair. Right. Because, Shay, you straighten yes. your hair chemically? Yes. Okay, so naturally your hair is? Very nappy. Like how mine is right now. Like I braided my hair natural. It's, so it's, it's really kinky. curly and coarse, yes. Okay. So, but you straighten your hair. Yeah. So, is that good hair to you or is that nappy hair straightened? It's amazing hair to me when my hair's straight. Speaking for a person who has um, hair, 
I think that my hair is more matted and coarse and kinky. I have a kitchen in the back, what black women like to call kitchens, because it's real coarse. It looks like a, a scarring pad. Um, women with more loosely coiled hair, um, Tyra, like I think that you have. My hair's not loosely coiled. My hair would never lay, like, lay down like that. Listen, well, with some gel Unless and a I have, Right. I, I had to use mad chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I had to use mad chemicals. <laughs> I had to use mad chemicals on my hair for it to, for it to lay down. Yeah. And I think it's more manageable with hair that's less loose, loosely coiled. You why does your hair have to lay down? That's the question. Why yeah. do you have to hair, have a hairstyle that's laying down? That's just like straightening anyway. Well, why do I have to have an afro to t technically define me as being black? I think that I'm black and I think that I'm a strong black woman. And in today's society, I think that straight hair is just more acceptable. You don't have to have an afro to be a strong black woman, but you have to not hate on what you really are to be a strong black woman. You're but who natural am I? State. I'm American. And You're in an America... American, but American has nothing to do with hair. We have put this on ourselves. We have made ourselves hate the texture of our hair. We have let other people. I don't ideas... hate the texture of my hair, but coming from the African and my African descent, when we came into this country, we didn't have African combs to comb our hair with, so we had to adapt. Having kinky hair was an evolutionary adaption in Africa. We got kinky hair. You don't have to have a comb to comb your hair. There are other ways to style your hair. The problem with black women is we have to learn how to style and treat our natural hair and stop trying to conform to something that is not natural and is unhealthy for our hair. Akia, Which takes you a lot of preparation. My hair is very Akia, healthy. Akia, I disagree. Your hair can't be healthy with relaxers. My hair is very healthy. relaxers do not make your hair healthy. I don't care how shiny it looks. I don't care how much I it disagree. bounces. When you put that chemical on your hair, it is sucking moisture out of your hair. It is breaking your natural hair down. I have proof. I used to relax my hair. But I growing your dress, you, you don't wash your hair for three I months. I wash my hair even. every day. When you, every when you, first, day. When you first got the dress. Do you wash your hair every day? No. When I you wash got, your hair every day now, but when you first, when when I first started getting the dress, dress, it was I, matted I wash, and kinky and nappy. No. You couldn't wash your hair for three that months. That is I know the preparation that it takes. That is the misconception of dress. Anybody in the audience not black, confused right now or understanding what's going on? Anybody? Why don't... Well, even some. Why don't you come African to the mic? People are confused. Why like, don't you come to the mic with the pink sweater, and and explain to us what you're confused about? Because I can break it down for you, maybe. Um, the biggest thing I don't understand is not washing your hair every day. Well, actually, it's not good for people, uh, for a lot of people, even people with straight hair, to not wash your hair every day. A lot of hairdressers are saying that now, that it's, it's not good because it depletes your hair with moisture, of moisture. Mm -hmm. But one thing I can explain, um, black women don't wash, a lot of us don't wash our hair every day because our hair tends to be drier, and the more we wash it, the more it dries out. Also, the chemical straightening and the, 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 all the process that we use to straighten it takes so long, it would be almost impossible to straighten it every single day. So you don't wash it every day. And it kind of tends to get better with time after a couple of days, kind of like marinating some chicken. You know, where like <laughs> put it in the right. fridge that's and after right. a couple of days, it just kind of starts looking better as well. You, so that's I'm not why. saying over perm and over process your hair. It's ways to take care of your hair using chemicals. And even if you don't, if your hair is naturally more loosely coiled, you still need that preparation. Okay, so hair. Tahita, you have heard both sides of this story. Do you want to go natural or do you want to this stay straight? This is why it's making it so hard because I want to go natural, but then I don't know how people would perceive me. Mm -hmm. I don't know how people would take to me, you know, with my natural hair because a lot of people never seen me do you with try? natural hair. Um, yes. Yeah. You I'll, do? I'll try it. Doesn't hurt to try. Yeah. I'll try it. Okay. Well, I'm going to send you backstage right now. I actually have some really great hairdressers that are going to make your hair a beautiful, natural texture. So go on there back now. Okay. Okay. You didn't know, girl, right now. Go on back here. We're going to see Tahita at the end of the show what she looks like natural. We'll be